My name is Emily Sample. I'm a local food and beverage enthusiast. I am about to embark on a very exciting journey discovering the world of fermentation. We are going to be talking to some amazing people who are doing some incredible stuff with food alchemy. I have no idea what I'm doing and no clue what I'm getting myself into. I just cannot wait to get started. Join me on my journey so we can discover together what it means to be spoiled in Sonoma. Good morning, it's Friday and we are in my kitchen. Uh, we're gonna pickle some onion today. I've never pickled anything before. I've never fermented anything before. This is a total experimental thing. I'm not even following a recipe besides a very simple concept of a brine and how you pickle stuff. So we're totally gonna wing it. Um, hopefully it turns out really good. Um, I'm putting a, my own little twist on a recipe, a very simple recipe of just apple cider vinegar, water, salt, a little bit of sugar, and then I'm adding some spices and uh, hot jalapeno uh, to make it a little bit spicier. So let's get started and see how it goes. Okay, so when I was putting my ingredients list together, I wanted to make sure that I got some apple cider vinegar from Nana Mae's because we just did a little tour through one of their orchards and met with Paul and talked all about how their organic vinegar is a little bit stronger than your average vinegar, which makes for great preservation. So we're using their apple cider vinegar, Nana Mae's, our favorite. We're going to use a little bit of Ayurvedic sea salt, um, some sugar, some whole black peppercorn, some cumin seed, and mustard seed. I'm gonna add juice of a couple of limes and a whole jalapeno sliced with the seeds to give it some hotness. Okay, so we're gonna start with cutting some lime. Uh, there are a lot, there's a lot of acid in the apple cider vinegar, but I wanted to do two different kinds of acid, especially the acid from the lime because I plan on eating this with a lot of ethnic foods and lime is such a great acid and citrus for that. So we're just gonna Slice these up and make it easy to cut the, or squeeze the juice out. Oh my god, this knife is really dull. <laughs> my knives are not sharpened. Things are not together. I'm gonna slice up the jalapeno really thin. I'm not gonna take out any seeds. And we're just gonna toss this into the brine. Be careful that you wash your hands really well after and don't rub your eye. I've made that mistake a couple of times. Oh, this is my least favorite part. I hate cutting onions so much. It always makes me cry. And I forgot to put on waterproof mascara before I did this. Oh my god, I hate it. I know there's a lot of tricks that people say that you can do to keep from crying when you cut onions, and none of them work. I even tried to wear goggles. That does not work either. So I'm gonna cut them really thin, um, not too thin to where they're paper thin, but definitely thin enough that they're not gonna slide out of sandwiches or off of a pizza or anything like that. Well, that's a little too thick. <laughs> oh, that hurts. It burns so much. <laughs> I can't believe I have to cut two of these. I'm not gonna make it, guys. It's not gonna work. Oh, I'm gonna do it this way. And do it as fast as I can because it's burning. Oh my god. Oh, don't look at me. Okay, so I just had a major meltdown. Um, I can't cut onions, apparently. I just can't do it. Um, had to have my camera woman cut the rest of these onions for me. Everyone in the room is crying and burning and in a lot of pain. So let's get this in the brine so that it's not burning anyone's eyes anymore and get this over with. It's still burning, uh, but we're just gonna get through this together. Um, so we're gonna start out with the Nana Mae's uh, organic apple cider vinegar. This is unfiltered vinegar from Gravenstein apples. We're gonna do an entire cup. I've been doing a lot of kind of fun stuff with apple cider vinegar, kind of exploring all the different uses besides just with cooking. So I did a mask on my hair the other day and that was kind of cool. It um, almost works like a clarifying shampoo. It takes away all the buildup. Also been using it as a um, toner. And it's great, I've been really enjoying it, but my boyfriend says I smell like feet, so that's 
kind of a downside of using apple cider vinegar for other things other than cooking. I'm gonna put a half a cup of water in too. And then I'm just gonna squeeze the juice from these limes in. No specific measurement, I'm just gonna put both limes in. Hopefully I don't squeeze this into my eye because I don't think my eyes can take anymore at this point. I think any of us can, this is painful. So I'm sure there's like a really fancy way that you're supposed to squeeze lime juice in, like with a special squeezer from William Sonoma. I don't have that, I have my hands, so we're working with what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of sugar. Totally making this up. And a tablespoon of whole peppercorns. And I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of the mustard seeds and the cumin because they're pretty strong flavors. Finally, the salt. So just a pinch. This Ayurvedic sea salt is really strong. It's got a ton of flavor. It's, in my opinion, a even more salty than uh, sea salt. So I'm just gonna do a tiny little bit for this. That was kind of a lot, actually. <laughs> okay. We're gonna put this on the stove and simmer for a little while and then finally add the onions and peppers and hopefully in a little while we'll get to eat some. Okay, so I'm gonna backtrack. I was kind of looking at all the onions that we have and the liquid and it doesn't really seem like we have quite enough liquid to fill up both jars with the onions. So I'm actually gonna double the liquid portion of the recipe and add another half a cup of water and another cup of vinegar and then do all the spices again too. Um, I could totally mess this up, I have no clue. It might be delicious. It's an experiment, we're learning. They to if it's totally disgusting, then we'll try again. All right, now we're gonna put this on the stove and let it simmer for a little while. So it's starting to get very aromatic in here. My whole house smells like onions and feet. But I kind of like it. It's kind of yummy. I don't know what simmering looks like, but I'm just gonna wait till it starts to bubble a little bit and then we're gonna keep going. <laughs> so since we're waiting for stuff to simmer, I thought I'd pour myself a little glass of Nana May's homemade pear and apple cider um, in my beer fest cup from the beer fest here in Sonoma County. So we're drinking all local stuff, we're making all local stuff. Cheers to Sonoma County. Is it too early to be drinking cider? What time is it? My eyes are still burning. <laughs> this is crazy. We are gonna put the onions in the jar and then pour the liquid over the onions and seal them up, refrigerate them for a little while, and then taste them later. I have no idea when this is gonna be ready. Um, I've I've had people say, you know, I eat them in a few hours. I've had people say they waited a couple of days. Um, I don't have a lot of patience, so I'm probably gonna try these in a few hours. Oh, that is strong, okay. <laughs> Perfect! Glad I doubled that liquid. Oh, they're so aromatic. I can't wait to try. And if you look kind of closely, you can start to see the brine really turn those onions like bright pink and, uh, and not too long, they should be totally hot pink. So the mo one of the most important things is to make sure that your pickling process let the product cool. So I'm gonna let these cool on the counter until they're room temperature, and then I'm gonna seal them and store them in the fridge for a little while. 
So unfortunately I have to wait until we can try them, but I will let you guys know later on how they taste. So we've let the pickled onions cool for a couple of hours, so I'm just gonna cover these guys up. We're gonna put them in the fridge and let them sit for a few hours more. I'm probably gonna dive into them in five to six hours. We'll see how they taste then. If they need a little bit more time, I'll let you know. Hey, how's it going? It's Emily. I put some of my pickled onions into a green salad. They're very tart. Um, I think next time I'm gonna do less lime juice or cut the lime juice totally and add a little bit more sugar so it's a little sweeter style. They are really good, the flavor is awesome, they're spicy, um, but they're a little too acidic. So I think I'm gonna adjust my recipe. So keep that in mind if you follow mine. <laughs> 